What's up guys and girls, Sim Worlds Gaming here. Today I'm actually going to be bringing you some of the hidden features of iOS 8. Um, these are actually pretty cool, I don't think that many people know them. First we're going to actually start here with group messaging. Let's say you're currently like me in the conversation with two different people. Um, you guys can actually send each other pictures, pretty much everything the same as we used to do it before. Now there's actually some upgrades here to group messaging which are going to be very helpful especially if you have more than one group message at a time going on. The main one here is that you can actually rename your group now. Uh, for example, there you can see there that for my group name, it says test one and test two. What you can actually do now is you can go up to details on the top right hand side, tap on details, just scroll up a little bit. And right there where it says group name, uh, let's just name it today, let's say hidden features. And as you can see here, this is actually one of the new features of iOS 8, and that is pretty much predictable test, which is freaking awesome too. It makes it a lot faster to test. As you can see there, we name it hidden features. So let's go back, let's make sure you actually name it that. And you can see, instead of saying test one or test two now, it says hidden features. So it's actually pretty cool. You can customize it a little bit more as well. And it will kind of let you know there at the bottom too that you changed the name. Now, other cool things you can do here for group messaging and just message, messaging overall is that you can go into details, you can add more people to the group message, uh, or you can leave this conversation at any time. Now, this is the actual cool thing about one of the hidden features. So let's say you get a message there from the notification center. All you have to do is pull this down and just reply to that. You can reply OK. Or if you wanted to, you can actually, you don't have to do the predictable test. You can actually type other stuff. Let's say, and you can send that there. And if you go back here to the group messaging, you'll see there that you pretty much send out what we we're trying to do there. Also, I'm pretty sure you have you guys have done this before where you guys will try to find the pictures and you just pretty much try to scroll all the way up, trying to find the pictures, trying to load them up. Well, the cool thing about iOS 8 is that it now puts those pictures just in one spot. So you don't have to scroll all the way up to find those old pictures that they might have sent you maybe like a week ago. All you kind of have to do here is just go into details on the top right hand side and then scroll down and all the attachments will be pretty much there. You can tap on it, it will bring it up. You can scroll from one to another. That's actually a pretty good meal there. <laughs> and now let me just go ahead and turn this off. Now, like I said, you can have more contacts there. You can send your current location that can come in very handy if you're trying to find somebody and they might be, they might be lost. They will actually come in handy quite often. You'll, you'll be surprised how often you might actually end up using that. And from there, what we can actually do here is let me show you something also very cool. Notification Center has actually changed quite a lot now. So you can see there, you can still see your weather, stocks, calendar, tomorrow, what, what can be coming up. But now you can also edit it to what you want it to be. You can have there today's summary. If you don't want stocks there to be at the top, you can kind of just move this one up here towards the top or actually move reminders towards the top. And you can try to move stocks down there towards the bottom. So you can kind of personalize it a little bit more now instead of the kind of stuff that you used to see in previous versions. One of the other cool things here about iOS 8 as well is the Photos application. So let me show you something actually very cool about the Photos application. Let's say you have this photo of some kind of layout. It may be you, you work on tile setting up. You can actually edit this photo very well maybe for your website, I'm not sure what you might actually do there, but there's a lot more options now to edit this kind of stuff here. It's not just one little tiny thing, it's a lot more stuff that you can do. And obviously you still have your filters there. Those aren't gonna go away anytime soon and you can also readjust it. Let's say maybe you took the picture a little bit sideways, you can kind of adjust it there to make it look the way you want it to be. So that's actually one of the cool things there in photos as well. Also, let me show you something here cool about the camera app. Now, with the camera app, this is a cool thing here you can do now. 
you can do time lapse. And what that is, is that the camera will take pictures, um, maybe five seconds to 10 seconds apart from each other, and it will combine them into a video. And it'll be a really cool video. So you can take kind of videos on landscaping or whatever it is that you might want to do. It's really cool. You'll, you'll kind of be surprised there what you can do with time lapse. Now this is one of the other cool things here you can do with messages. What you can actually do now is you can send voice messages. So let's say, hey, call me back when you get this message. And you can either play it again. You can either cancel it or you can send it there to your group. And then I'm pretty sure there once they receive it, they will probably message you back. I can't right now. And then to actually listen to it, you can either play, just press play there, or you can actually put it up to your ear and it will start playing it for you. I can't right now. So it's actually very something very, very cool there that you can do. And you can also send video messages, which I will go into that a little bit more in a, in a later video. Also, one of the things there about those voice messages is you can actually set a timer how long, how fast you want to delete them. You can set a timer to for them to expire after two minutes, or you can set a timer there to expire never, pretty much. Uh, depending on how big your phone is, I would suggest just to set the timer after two minutes. As you can see there, read to listen. Allows you to quickly listen and reply to incoming audio messages by raising the phone to your... So kind of pretty much like if you were sending uh, just a regular message there. So that goes along those lines. And that, guys, is pretty much something and in depth there into iOS 8. If you guys like this, let me know. I will continue to make more videos. And on my next video, I'm going to talk about a little bit more about continuity between two iOS devices since currently they're not available there with, with different devices, with a computer or anything like that because Yosemite is not out there yet for the Mac or the MacBooks, right? Okay, guys. Well, if you like the video, make sure you click 